Hi everyone, as uh, you may know, um, we've added so-called catalog commands, which we believe is a big, big game changer because it allows you to automate business processes, uh, create uh, user interfaces for web APIs, create internal applications and, and do many more. So in this video, I'm going to show you one example of uh, how you can uh, create, update and delete records in basically any any system. So for this example, uh, we are going to use a very simple uh, every simple application. It's called a to-do list. Let's look uh, at uh, what it looks like. So I'm going to retrieve a sample to-do list by pressing the retrieve button. And uh, here we go. So now we have a very simple to-do list. Uh, and the, the data set consists of only three tables, uh, sorry, three columns. One column is task ID, another column is task description, uh, what has to be done, and the last column is due date. So uh, the due date for, for each task um, uh, described in the list. Um, so what can we do with it now? As you can notice, uh, now when you select a, a cell, uh, there are small uh, blue corners in cells and these blue corners, they indicate available commands. So if you right click a cell, you will see that uh, uh, in the menu, in the context menu, there are blue, uh, blue options and these options, they, um, they represent commands. So, and each command, what, what commands can do? There are three types of commands in EasyMorph. Uh, it's uh, row commands, column commands, and general commands. Uh, let's see how it, how it works uh, on practice. Well, first of all, um, general commands allow, allow us uh, working with the whole data set. And uh, here in this example, a general command is used to add a new, a new row to the list. So to call general commands, you press the execute command button on the toolbar and select a command. So in this case, we're going to add a new task. And this is what it looks like. So we trigger, we trigger a workflow under the hood and that workflow prompts four parameters. So we enter parameters like task, task description and due date. Um, let's say do a demo for, for the web. For the web. Uh, I don't know what that means, just random name. And we pick a due date. Let's say it's going to be September 22nd. And, and we press start to, to, trigger, to trigger that workflow. So when we press start, uh, the workflow is executed. And you can see that we have a new row added to, to this table. Um, now we can, uh, besides adding new, new rows, uh, we can update existing existing records. Um, let's say we want to change we want to change uh, the uh, the description of this task. So now instead of using a general command, I'm going to use a row command. And the row command um, allows assigning values from the current from the current uh, cell or the current row, assigning values to parameters of a workflow. Uh, so now when I right click that cell and I can select update task. So I, when I select update task, now I can see task properties and I can update them. So instead of um, having a task description sample task one, two, three, I'm going to delete one, two, three, and I'm going to change the date to something else. And I press start. And you see that uh, after the workflow is finished, our data set is retrieved, is updated. So we can see, we can see uh, that uh, the record has been updated. Um, finally, what we can do, we can delete records. Let's say um, this task has been done. Uh, I can delete that. Uh, so I click the task ID and I select delete, delete, uh, delete the task. Delete the task. 
and here we go. The task is deleted. So how does it work under the hood? So we see that uh, with, the, with the commands, you can create new records, update existing records, delete records, and of course, list records in basically any data source that is supported by Easymore. But how, how do the commands work under the hood? So if we go to back to catalog and we select our to-do uh, to do item <clears throat> in the catalog, we can see that there is a new menu added uh, to the context menu. It's called add edit commands. If we open, if we open that, we will see the, uh, it's a new, it's a new uh, menu, menu command. Uh, we can see uh, that we can configure uh, item commands. So these are these are item commands. They are here. Um, let's look, uh, for instance, how how the update task is, is configured. Uh, when we configure update task, we see that uh, well, the command name is update task, and uh, that command triggers a module. Uh, it can trigger a module in the in the current item, or it can trigger another item. So if it triggers a module in the current item, uh, we can also select what this what this module should do. It can run a workflow, or it can uh, open a, a web resource, a web link, or it can retrieve a file. And after that, after that, we okay, uh, we specify. Okay, I'll, I'll reopen it again. We uh, we specify how uh, parameters of that module should be uh, should be assigned. We can assign module parameters, and that module has three parameters, as we can see it from the list. Uh, we can assign them with uh, column values with. Uh, uh, with just constant uh, constants like text constants or number constants, and also we can specify them using a parameter. So it's that simple. And finally, in the options, we can specify what to do when the workflow is finished. We can retrieve the the current data set, and we we can also specify if we need to prompt for parameters. This is convenient when we need to update update uh, um, values or we need to we need to uh, add a new a new uh, record. So, and in this case, we need to prompt for uh, record values. We can do this by checking this and uh, ch checking this checkbox. Um, now let's look uh, let's look at the project that implements all that functionality. Yeah, we are going to open that project again. It's also a new command in, in this menu list. Open project. Uh, it tells us, okay, we want to save this project in, 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 the, in, in the temporary folder. All right, and we're going to open it. So this is our project that implements the to-do list uh, functionality. Um, in, in the project, we have four, four modules. Um, the, the main module, the default module, uh, this is the module that returns simply returns all the all the tasks in the to-do list. Uh, so this module returns a data set. The add item module uh, it doesn't return anything. Uh, it's a workflow that uh, simply appends uh, appends it creates a new record. Here it creates a new record from parameter values, and it appends that record. To the existing to the existing to-do list and the result is exported uh, back uh, the result is exported back into the file that stores uh, the record it's a dset file in this case it can be a database it can be uh, it can be a text file spreadsheet um, anything in this case it's it's a, it's an easy more data set uh, the delete item module is probably the simplest one it simply loads uh, all the tasks from uh, from from from, from the file where, where where they are stored, and it removes tasks with uh, at, at, at the task with the with the given task ID. So this model has a parameter task ID, and that uh, and the item with this task task ID is removed. Finally, we write back 
they filter the data set back into into the into file into the file where the to do list is stored. Uh, finally, the update item module is uh, what it does. It it takes parameters and uh, then it basically it removes. Uh, 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 the row with the given task ID and replaces it with with uh, with uh, with a new row with the same task ID but with new parameter values. So that's uh, that's what we see here. And then we sort the result by task ID to keep the to keep the records in order. And again, we export the result into the into the to-do list. And uh, in the data catalog. In the data catalog, uh, you can see that uh, these modules are assigned assigned to commands. So each command, update task, delete task, or uh, add new task, they all they trigger uh, the respective modules. Add new task triggers module the module add uh, add item and assigns its parameters. Well, in this case, when we add a new parameter, there are no default values. So we just uh, select that. Okay, this should be entered by by the user. And uh, when we update tasks or delete task, okay, we, we've seen update task. Let's look at the delete task. Delete task. We simply we simply request a task ID to delete, and, and that's it. And after after the workflow is finished, we need to re retrieve the current data set so that the user can see. The user can see the updated data set. Well, that's, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, I'm going to publish this video on the community forum. So if you have questions regarding how this uh, uh, sample application works, uh, please uh, feel free to post uh, your questions on the community forum. Thank you and goodbye.